<laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Michael, what are you doing? Just doing some Mythbuster stuff. Billy's sleeping, so I got a bowl of warm water. Time to test some myths out. No way, are you serious? Can I help? Of course you can help. Come on, let's go. Now all we gotta do is wait. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I really hope this works. So how long do you think it's gonna take? I don't know. Hopefully not too long. A few hours later. No way, I think it worked. Oh man, that's why I was dreaming about going swimming. Ma! <laughs> I can't believe it worked. <laughs> Boys, did you put your brother's hand in a bowl of warm water? You're both grounded. Get up to your rooms right now. <laughs> totally worth it. Boys, it's time for dinner. Man, I can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry right now. Michael, what are you doing? That's not your seat. That's the grown-ups table. You're sitting at the kid's table. Mom, are you kidding me? I don't want to sit at the kid's table with Billy. He wipes his boogies all over the table. And I don't even fit in the chair. Oh, no. Billy's not sitting at the kid's table anymore. He's going to sit at the grown-ups table right next to his mama. Now, I'm not going to tell you again. Get to the kid's table right now. How is that even fair? Fine, whatever, Mom. Ew. Make way, make way, big kid coming through. I officially sit at the big kid's table. <laughs> oh my god. Michael, you're still at the kid's table? Yeah, I'm sitting here because of you, Billy. Mom, look at him. He's wearing a Cocomelon shirt, and you're really gonna let him sit at the grown-up table? Cocomelon's for all ages. Grown-ups watch it too. Yeah, Michael, Cocomelon's for all ages. Sometimes I sit and watch it with Billy. It's a pretty good show. Now you two knock it off. Billy, come sit at the table before your dinner gets cold. <sighs> okay, Mom, is my booster seat ready? Yeah, I got it all set up for you, sweetie. Right there next to Mommy. Yes, sorry, Michael, but I have to go to the grown-up table now. I don't have time to conversate with little kids. <laughs> Mom, can you lift me up in my seat? I can't get up. Mom, are you kidding me? He needs a booster seat to sit at that table? Look at me, my knees are higher than the table. They look like two little mountaintops peeking out. Michael, stop complaining and get ready to eat your dinner. Billy, make sure you buckle up in your booster seat. Don't worry, I'm all buckled up, Mom. What'd you say, Michael? I can't hear you all the way over there at the kids' table. <laughs> this can't be real life. Hey, everybody, Grandma's here. Sorry I'm late. Michael, what are you doing at the kids' table? Hi, Grandma, and it's all Mom's fault. She made me sit here, and she gave Billy a seat at the grown-up table. Hi, Grandma, check it out. I'm a grown-up now. <laughs> oh, hell no. Be quiet, Billy. You're not a grown-up. <laughs> Billy, get out of that chair right now and go sit at the kids' table. And Michael, you get up and go sit at the grown-up table. And where's my daughter at? Oh, hi, Mom. You finally made it. Don't worry. Dinner will be out in two minutes. Oh, there you are. Ouch! What was that for? That was for putting Michael at the kids' table and having Billy at the grown-ups' table. You know what? Now you sit at the kids' table with Billy! No way. Grandma's the best. I can't believe Grandma's making Mom sit at the kids' table. Yes, today's August 12th. It's National Middle Child's Day. It's my favorite day. Good morning, Mom. Oh, there's my favorite child just for today. I made you your favorite breakfast. Here, it's pancakes. Oh, wow, thanks, Mom. They look so good. Ooh, Mom, I want pancakes for breakfast. No, what do I look like, your personal nanny? Just lick the syrup off your brother's plate when he's done eating. But, Mom, I don't want to lick the syrup off his plate. This is it. <laughs> no way, that was awesome. I love Middle Child's Day. Hey, bud, happy Middle Child's Day. You want to go outside and have a catch with your old man like we used to? Yeah, I'll go get our gloves, Dad. <laughs> Michael, stop. What are you doing? I'm about to take the trash out, Mom. It's my turn to take the trash out. I don't think so. Not on Middle Child Day. Go sit down and watch TV and relax. Billy, take the trash out. Oh, man. Today just keeps getting better and better. Oh, hey, sweetie, here's $100 so you can go out shopping and have fun with your friends. Are you serious? Thanks, Mom. Michael! 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 Michael, wake up! 
Yeah, Mom? What are you sleeping so late for? It's 7 o'clock in the morning. You gotta get up and do your chores. First go outside and mow the lawn, then come in and wash your dishes, then clean the bathroom, and then take out the trash. Get up! Okay, I'm up, Mom. Oh, man, it was all just a dream. Yes, today's finally my birthday. I wonder if Mom made me my favorite breakfast. She always makes the birthday kid their favorite breakfast. Hey, good morning, Mom. Good morning. Billy, sweetie, can you go wake up your brother Tommy? He's going to be late for school again. <sighs> Fine, I guess, but I want pancakes for breakfast, Mom. That's no problem. Of course I'll make you pancakes for breakfast, sweetie. Hey, Mom, are you forgetting to say something to me? It's a special day. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. It's trash day. Take out the trash. Are you kidding me? This is bullsh**. Oh, you know what? Maybe Mom was just having me take the trash out so that she could have my favorite breakfast for me ready. That's probably what it is. Billy, sweetie, how are your pancakes? They're so good, Mom! Thanks for making my favorite breakfast! Hey, Mom, I'm done taking all the trash out. Okay, and why are you just standing there? Do you want a reward or something? No, I'm just waiting for my breakfast. You know my favorite's French toast, right? Why do you think I care what your favorite breakfast is? And what do you think I am, your personal chef? Here, eat this banana. Ow, because it's my birthday. You always make the birthday kid their favorite breakfast. Wait a minute, today's your birthday? Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you, Mom. Well, thanks for reminding me of the worst day of my life. Ah, you're grounded! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is that the ice cream man I hear? Ow! Ouch, Mom! I scraped my knee! Ah! Just rub some dirt on it and you'll be fine. Stop your whining. No way! I hear the ice cream truck! Ouch! Ouch, Mom! I fell and I scraped my knee! Oh my goodness, sweetie! Don't worry, Mama's coming! Here, I got you peroxide and band-aids and neosporin! And Mama will go get you two ice creams from the ice cream man! Hey, Mr. Ice Cream Man! Get over here! Ooh, I think I hear the ice cream man! Uh, ouch, Mom! I scraped my elbow! I don't care! Get out of my way, Michael! I have to get ice cream for Billy! Billy, sweetie, I just got done doing your laundry, and now I'm gonna go finish folding it and putting it all away, okay? Congratulations! What, do you want a cookie or something, Mom? That's your job! That's what you're supposed to do! And you better have used the laundry detergent I like! Don't worry, I did, sweetie. Hey, Tommy, I just got done doing your laundry. Here, take it. You gotta fold it and put it away. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Hey, Mom, I can't find any clean clothes and I'm late for school. Didn't you do the laundry last night? Yeah, I did Tommy and Billy's laundry, not yours. Are you kidding me? You did their laundry and you didn't do mine? What am I supposed to wear? What do I look like, your personal maid? Do your own laundry next time if you want clean clothes. Just wear what you got on, it looks fine. But mom, it has stains all over it. Well then maybe you shouldn't be so messy. Just say it's abstract art and you bought it like that. But mom, it stinks too. Oh, Jeez, you're so needy. Fine, I'll help you. Here, I found this dryer sheet in your brother's sock earlier while I was doing his laundry. Let me wipe it all over you. Oh man, this is bullshit. Ouch, stop it. Stop what? Stop poking me! Mom! Michael's poking me! Tell him to stop! Michael, stop poking your brother. Sit on the other side of the couch. Fine, okay. Hey! <laughs> Mom, he's still poking me! Michael, that's it. You're grounded. Go up to your room. Okay. <laughs> Tommy, get in that kitchen and go wash the dishes. Okay, sorry, Mom. Michael, get in that kitchen and go wash the dishes. No, I'm playing my game. Is what an extremely rude kid would have said. I'm so sorry, Mom. Please don't beat me. Billy, get into the kitchen and go wash the dishes. <laughs> this is so funny. Billy. 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 Billy, sweetie. No way! I can watch Disney Plus and play Minecraft at the same time! This is awesome! Billy! Billy, answer me right now! No way! They got something new on Roblox! Billy, did you hear me? I said get in the kitchen and clean the dishes! Whoa! I should totally buy that new skin on Fortnite! You know what? Never mind. Finally! Mom, I'm out of cheese crackers! Go get me more! Billy, today's Michael's birthday. Do you know what he wants for a present? 
Um, yeah, I actually know exactly what he wants, Mom. He just told me the other day. Come on, let's go to Target. Okay, I'll go get the keys and meet you in the car. You're such a good little brother. Yes, today's my birthday. I hope Mom gets me a good present. We're home from the store. Let's sing happy birthday and eat cake so you can open your present up. No way, that box is shaped just like a PS5. I bet you Mom got me a PlayStation. You're right, that does look like a PS5 box. Dude, if you get a PlayStation, I'm playing with you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, time to open presents. Here you go, Michael. Billy told me exactly what you wanted, and he even helped me pick it out for you. I hope you like it. <laughs> it's a really good gift, Michael. Mom, hurry up and cut me a piece of cake. Oh, man, I don't believe it. It's definitely a PS5. I was just telling Billy the other day how bad I wanted one. What the heck? A Cocomelon toy? What's the matter, Michael? Do you not like it? No, I don't like it. I don't watch Cocomelon, Mom. That show's for babies. Oops. Sorry, Mom. I guess that's what I really wanted. I must have got confused. Since Michael doesn't like it, can I have it, please? Sure thing, Billy, sweetie. Since Michael doesn't like his gift we got him, you can have it. Yes, my plan worked perfectly. <laughs> Hurry up and give me my toy, Michael. Are you kidding me? So am I not getting a birthday present, Mom? Whatever, fine. Here you go, Billy. That's bullsh- Hey, everybody. Grandma's here. Where's the birthday boy at? Oh, there you are. Hi, Michael. Happy birthday. Yes, Grandma's here. Hi, Grandma. Thanks. Guess what? Billy told Mom I wanted a Cocomelon toy for my birthday, and when I told Mom I didn't want it, she gave it to Billy, so now I don't have a present. Are you kidding me? Ouch! I'm sorry! And here's one for you, Billy! Ouch, Grandma! Now I want you to return that toy right now and give Michael the cash for it. And Michael, I got your present outside. Come take a look. No way, really? What is it? No way, are you serious? You got me a quad, Grandma? Thank you so much, you're the best! Aw, oh, you're welcome, sweetie, no problem. And I also ordered you a PS5, it should be here any day now. Oh yeah, and we're almost at a million subscribers on YouTube. So for every new subscriber that we get, I'm gonna throw a sandal at Billy's head! Uh-oh! Ah! Hey Dad, can I borrow $15 to... Dad? Billy, what's wrong with Dad? He's sleeping. He must have been working too hard. Why would he be sleeping in the middle of the floor? You know what? Just forget it. I'm sure Dad won't notice. Sweet, a hundred bucks. You saw nothing. Did you say something? Oh no, there's a griefer in my server! Billy, did you go in my room again? What's Dad doing? No, I didn't go in your room and be quiet. Dad's trying to sleep. If he wakes up, he might try to make me hold the ladder again. He fell asleep right here on the floor? And yes, you did go in my room, Billy, because I saw Cheeto fingerprints all over my keyboard and my mouse. Stay out of my room! Okay, I'm sorry! I just wanted to play Fortnite! Now get out of here before you wake Dad up! Boys, I'm home from the store. I need help carrying the groceries. Billy, what's your father doing? Hi, Mom! Well, he was working really hard fixing the trim, and then he got tired, so he decided to take a nap. I hope you got Dunkaroos at the store! I swear, that man can't do anything without taking a nap first. That trim was supposed to be done before I got home. Come get me when your father wakes up. He's in trouble. Okay, Mom! Can you bring me some Dunkaroos? Ooh, Dad's in trouble. Uh, oh, my back! Uh. Oh, Dad, you're up! Mom wants to talk to you. She said you're in trouble for sleeping on the job. Billy, where'd you go? You weren't holding the ladder. I went to get my iPad. I wanted to play Minecraft. Are you kidding me, Billy? You stopped holding the ladder so you could go get your iPad? Yeah, I wanted to play. And why are you so upset? You're the one that fell asleep. I didn't fall asleep, Billy. I fell off the ladder. You're grounded. Ah! Well, why would you fall asleep when you're on top of a ladder, Dad? Of course you're going to fall off. I didn't fall asleep on top of the ladder. Give me your iPad, Billy. You're grounded for a month. What? No, Dad, that's not fair. You're the one that fell asleep. This is bullshit. Hey, sweetie, wake up. I got you a breakfast croissant from Dunkin' Donuts. What? Really? Thanks, Mom. Croissants are my favorite. Anything for my special boy. Now get ready and I'll meet you downstairs. Hey, Mom, I forgot. There's a field trip at school today. Can I have a couple extra dollars? 
Of course you can. Here's a hundred. Is that enough for you? Yeah, that's more than enough. Thanks, Mom. Hey, Michael, what'd you forget? It's trash day. Take out the trash. No, your brother always takes out the trash, Billy. How about you get up and you take out the trash right now? What? Are you kidding me? This isn't fair. And oh yeah, Michael, I packed your lunch. It's in your backpack. And I noticed that you forgot to do your homework last night, so I did it for you. Well, really, Mom? Thanks. What is going on? Hey, Mom, it's raining real bad. Can you drive me to the bus stop so I don't get all wet for school? No, just put a backpack over your head and use it as an umbrella. I'm driving your brother Michael to the bus stop. But my new shoes are going to get ruined. Too bad. Michael, are you ready to go? Michael? Michael? Oh! Michael? Michael, hurry up and wake up. You overslept and you had to take the trash out. All right, I'm up. I'm up. Are you kidding me? It was just a dream. Hey, Mom, can I borrow your phone for a second? Yeah, sure. Here you go. Thanks. Really? That would be her home screen. Are you kidding me? There's no pictures of me. It's all Billy and Tommy. There has to be a picture of me somewhere. Mom, I just went through all your photos and you don't have one picture of me. Oh, I must have forgot. Here, give me my phone and stand there. I'll take a picture of you now. Really? All right, here. Okay, say cheese. Let me see how they turned out. Are you kidding me? You didn't even take a picture of me. You just took selfies of yourself. Oh, my fault. I'll take a picture of you later. Oh, my gosh, Billy. You look so cute. Let me take a picture. Where is this kid at? It's almost 9 o'clock. If he's a minute late, he is grounded for the next month. Hey, Mom. I'm home. You're two minutes late for curfew. You're grounded. Are you kidding me, Mom? I was only two minutes late. I said you're grounded. Get to your room. Hi, Mom. I'm home. Hi, sweetie. Oh, you're two hours past curfew. You must have been having a lot of fun at your friend's house. Go upstairs and get ready for bed, and I'll be up there in a minute to tuck you in. Hey, Mom, I'm home. Sorry I didn't call last night. I slept at Joey's house. He had a big party. Yeah, whatever. I didn't even know you were gone. Hey, good morning, Mom. Good morning, sweetie. I made you your favorite breakfast, pancakes. What? No way. Are you serious, Mom? Thanks. April Fools, these are for your little brother. Do you really think I would make you pancakes? Make a bowl of cereal or something. Ah, good one, Mom. Mm. These pancakes are so good. Whatever. I didn't want pancakes anyway. Hey, Michael, you want to go outside and have a catch with your dad? Yeah, I'll have a catch with your dad. April Fools, ha <laughs> ha. Come on, Tommy, we're going outside to have a catch. All right, I'll be right there, Dad. Oh, man, I broke Mom's favorite bracelet. What am I going to do? Ooh, you broke Mom's favorite bracelet. Don't worry, I won't tell on you. Really? Thanks, Billy. April Fools, Mom, Michael broke your favorite bracelet. Boys, come outside. It's time for the family bike ride. Yes, today's my first day I get to ride my new bike. I'll go get my bike, Mom. Hey, Mom, where's my bike? I didn't see it in the garage or out back. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. We sold your bike so we can buy Billy a new bike. Check out my new bike. Isn't it awesome? Not really. Mom, are you kidding me? You sold my bike to buy Billy a bike? How am I supposed to go on the family bike ride then? I guess you better start running. Okay, boys, you ready? Let's go. Are you serious? Hey, stop. Wait for me. This is bullshit. Mom, I'm going out with my friends. I'll be back later. Hold up, I don't think so. Did you do the dishes? Did you clean your room? And did you finish your laundry? Yeah, it's all done, Mom. Did you mow the lawn? Did you vacuum every single room in this house? Did you clean the bathrooms? No. Well, then you're not going anywhere. Get to work. Are you kidding me? This isn't fair. Newsflash, life isn't fair, sweetie. Mom, I'm going to my friend's house. Oh, okay, sweetie. Let me give you a ride. And make sure to call me when you want me to pick you up. Also, I cleaned your room and I did your laundry. Duh, how else did you think I was going to get there, Mom? And did you fold my socks the way I like them? Oops, sorry, sweetie, I forgot to fold them the way you like them. I'll fix it as soon as I get home from taking you to your friend's house. They better be folded right when I get home. Hurry up, we're going to be late. Hey, Mom, I'm going to my friend's house. Oh, thank God. Here, I packed you a suitcase. Stay there as long as you can. Whatever. Okay, we're here, boys. This is our hotel room. Ooh, I want this bed, Mom! Damn it, Billy, stop jumping on the bed before you fall off and hurt yourself. What are you talking about? I'm not going to fall off, Mom! See, what did I tell you, Billy? Okay, so me and your father will have that bed. Billy has that bed all to himself. And Tommy, you're on the couch. Perfect. I'll sleep on the couch as long as I don't have to sleep next to Billy. Oh, what? And I got my own TV out here? Mom, what about me? Where am I going to sleep? Um, where do you think you're going to sleep? You're going to sleep out in the car here. Are you kidding me, Mom? I don't want to sleep out in the car. Let me sleep on the bed next to Billy. Look how big his bed is. 
No, you're not sleeping next to me. I need all this room to practice my karate. Mom, tell him he's not sleeping next to me. Michael, you're sleeping out in the car and that's it. Oh, man, I can't believe this. This sucks. Hey, Michael, wait a minute. I knew it. She was messing with me. I'm sleeping in here. Yeah, Mom? Since you're going out to the car anyway to go to sleep, make sure you grab everybody's bags out the back and bring them up. That's bullshit! Boys, I have good news. I'm having another baby. You're gonna all have a little sister. No way. Are you serious? Congrats, Mom. Yo, you know what this means? Billy isn't the baby no more. He's the middle, middle child. Wait, what? I don't want to be the middle, middle child. I want to be the baby forever. Mom, call this dork right now and tell him to turn around and return it. I don't want a baby sister. I'm the baby. Oh, Billy, sweetie, I'm sorry. I can't call this dork. He's already on his way and he doesn't have a cell phone. Don't worry. You're always going to be my baby. Now I'm going to go make dinner for you boys, all right? Love ya. I knew I could count on you, Mom. I want chicken nuggets. See? Nothing to worry about, guys. I'm always going to be the baby and Mom's favorite. <laughs> you really bought that, Billy? Mom told me the same thing when we were having you. Believe it or not, I used to be Mom's favorite. Now look at me. It's true, Billy. I was there. Michael had a few good years being the favorite child before you came. I didn't have many myself before Mom did it to me. Not to mention, you're the middle, middle child, so you're going to have it twice as bad as me. Yeah, right. You guys are just trying to scare me, and it's not going to work. You heard, Mom. I'm always going to be the baby and her favorite. I guess we'll see. Nine months later. Boys, I'm home from the hospital with your new baby sister. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. Eh, you've seen one baby, you've seen them all. I want to see, I want to see. All right, all right, let me just get settled. Oh, no, I think she made a stinky. You, um, what's your name again? Go get her diaper bag from the car. Hurry up. What do you mean, you? I have a name and it's Billy, Mom. Don't you remember? I'm the baby. I'm your favorite. And now it begins. We tried to warn you, Billy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just hurry up and go get the diaper bag. The baby's crying. It didn't begin. I'm still Mom's favorite. She probably just got a big whiff of that diaper and then it messed her head up and she got all confused. I can't talk about it. I gotta go get the diaper bag. Boys, dinner's ready. Okay, here you go, Tommy. Oh, thanks, Mom. My favorite. That's why I made it. And here you go, Michael. Wait, what? You actually made me dinner? Thanks, Mom. Of course I made you dinner. Tommy's gonna go off to college soon and that means you're gonna be the oldest one in the house. I need you nice and strong. Sounds good to me, Mom. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Now eat up. And last but not least, my little baby. Isn't she so cute? What about me, Mom? You didn't make me anything to eat. Oh, my goodness. I totally forgot about you, sweetie. I'm so sorry. I didn't make enough. Um, let me see. Oh, here. Take this and put this in the microwave. <laughs> I don't want mac and cheese, and I don't even know how to use a microwave. <laughs> Ouch, Billy. Are you serious? Now you're getting no dinner. Get to your room. Welcome to the club, Billy! <laughs> Tommy, I just got a call from your teacher. You failed your science test? You're grounded for a month. Get up to your room. No TV, no iPad, no computer. Are you kidding me? A whole month? That's not fair. You know what's not fair? Me having a stupid kid. Get up to your room! Fine, whatever. <gasps> Michael, are you kidding me? Is this your cup? You couldn't clean up after yourself and put it in the dishwasher when you were done? That's it. I'm calling the police. You're going to jail. What? Mom, I wasn't even done drinking it, though. I don't want to hear any excuses. Hello, is this the police? I need you at my house right away. Mom, come on, it was just a cup. Please. You do the crime, you do the time. Billy, sweetie, what did you do? I found this skeleton in your room. Oh, Cocomelons. I'm sorry, Mom, my friend was in my room, and he took my Cocomelon toy from me. And I didn't like that. Am I going to get in trouble? Oh, don't worry, sweetie. No, you're not going to get in trouble. Mama's got your back. I'm going to go get my shovel. I'll help you get rid of this. Thanks, Mom! Mom, can I have $20 so I can go out with my friends? No, what do I look like a bank to you? If you want money to go out with your friends, go get a job! What about all the chores I do around the house? Isn't that a job? No, that's mandatory. Everybody has to do chores if you want to live under this house. Now stop bothering me. I'm trying to watch my show. Hey, Mom, can I get $20? I'm sleeping over at my friend's house, and tomorrow we're going to Six Flags. No, I'm not giving you $20. I don't even know you. What do you want, a Tommy's friends? I don't give money to strangers. What? Mom, no, it's me, Michael, your middle child. 
What? Really? Oh my goodness, I didn't even recognize you. I haven't seen you in so long. And no, sorry, you can't have $20. And ask your friend if you can sleep over for another two weeks. Whatever. Time for plan B. Oh, hey, Dad, what are you watching, football? Mom said to give me some money because I'm going to sleep in my friend's house for the next couple days. And we're going to Six Flags tomorrow. Oh, hey, buddy, yeah, the Eagles are on. That sounds fun. You're going to your friend's house and then you're going to go to Six Flags? Yeah, I got some money right here. It's $200, okay? Oh, come on, he just fumbled it! Yeah, that's perfect, Dad. Thanks. Works every time. Hey, Mom, can I get 20 bucks? I need some Robux for my Roblox character. Oh, hey, sweetie, you need some Robux? Of course I'll give you some money. Here, take $250 and buy all the Robux you can. What? No way. Are you serious, Mom? Thank you. I'm going to be a Roblox millionaire now. <laughs> oh, no problem, sweetie. Now go buy your Robux. <coughs> Oh my gosh, no way! We got our elf pet today! <gasps> Look at it, it's so cute! You're so jealous! Bro, I'm not jealous over an elf pet. Oh my gosh, is that one mine? Look at it! I got the doggy, haha! <laughs> Whoa, cool, you guys got your elf pets? Mom, where's mine at? It's right over there. Really? Mom, what the hell is that? It's not even an elf pet. It's a stuffed animal with a piece of poop! Can you be quiet? I'm trying to help your brothers name their elf pets. That's bullshit! Oh, no wonder you got that burnout pet! Hey mom, it's raining now. Can you drive me to the bus stop? I don't want to get all wet. No, what do I look like? Your personal chauffeur? Here, take this umbrella. You'll be fine. But what about my shoes? Fine, whatever. Hey mom, it's pouring now. Can you drive me to the bus stop, please? I got my art project. I can't get it wet. No, I can't drive you to the bus stop. A little rain's not gonna hurt. When I was your age, I used to walk 15 miles in a blizzard to get to the bus stop. Are you kidding me? Come on, Mom. My art project will get ruined when it gets wet. Can I at least get an umbrella? No, you can't have an umbrella. If you want an umbrella, go get a job and buy one. Mom, it's raining out. Hurry up and get the keys. I'm going to be late. We have to get to the bus stop. All right, sweetie. I got the keys right here. Let's go. Thanks for driving me to the bus stop, Mom. It's really pouring out there. Just look how wet Michael is. <laughs> Mom, can I get in? It's pouring out here. I'm soaking wet. No, I'm sorry, Michael. You gotta wait out there for the bus. There's not enough room in here. Plus, the water's good for you. You needed a shower anyway. <laughs> good one, Mom. All right, back away, Michael. I have to roll the window up. I'm getting wet. Are you kidding me? This is bullshit. Billy, sweetie, it's time to turn the game off and go upstairs and get ready for bed. Oh, be quiet, Mom. You just made me lose. Now get out of here. I'm not going to bed yet. No way, did he really just say that to mom? Yeah, he did. He's about to get the whooping of a lifetime. I'll go make popcorn. We don't want to miss this. It's going to be a good show. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to lose, sweetie. And okay, stay up as late as you want. Just come get me when you're ready for bed. Wait, what? How did he get away with that? I don't know. She didn't even say, I brought you into this world. I can take you out of this world like she usually does. Dude, maybe mom's not as tough as we think she is. You're right, she just backed down from him. Maybe mom's been bluffing and we just been too scared to stand up to her. That's it, mom's just been faking this whole time. All we gotta do is stand up to her. Oh, what are you boys doing over there? It's bedtime, get upstairs and go to bed. Yo, watch this, I'm gonna stand up to her. We're not going to bed. Go ahead, I got your back. No, I'm not going to bed, mom. You can't tell us what to do. Ah! Uh, oh man, it didn't work. Does he speak for the both of you? Nope, I'm going to bed. Good night. Love you, Mom. I'll miss you, Michael. Oh, no, stop. Don't hit the button. You hit the button, didn't you, Billy? Hey, don't blame me for this. It wasn't my fault. Why would they have a button if you're not supposed to press it? Thanks a lot, Billy. Now look where we are. I can understand why I'm here, but I have no clue how you two made it up here. Well, well, well. Look who it is. It's the Zippy Brothers. Welcome to heaven. God, what are you doing? Why would you let these two up here? What are you doing? Knock it off, Billy. No, I'm not knocking it off. Do you think I want to spend the rest of eternity with you two? No way. God, don't you know what these two have done? The other day, Michael snuck out of the house and Tommy threw his shoe at my head. Billy, stop. Are you really tattletaling right now? No, I'm not stopping. There is no way you two are walking up them stairs and walking through that gate. God, the other day, Michael took $20 out of Mom's purse so he could buy V-Bucks. Billy, that wasn't me. That was you. Oh, yeah, that was me. Well, the other day, Tommy took my iPad from me and he wouldn't give it back. Oh, 
okay, okay, I've heard enough. I've made my decision. <laughs> it's finally time. Have fun down there, you two. Don't forget to wear your sunscreen. <laughs> Tommy and Michael, you may walk through the gate. And as for you, Billy, you're banished.